Now for finishing touches. Uh, there's a couple of things. First, take an arrow that you you know is the right length. And measure it up for length. So we're going to mark it just about there. Just remember, if you do it slightly bigger than the arrow that you're using as a, as a measure, um, that you're going to be pulling the bow back a little bit further, which you don't want to be doing. So the best bet is to go just slightly shorter than your standard arrow. Cut the end off. Right, here one of these. I've actually got a couple of these anyway, so... Oh, this one's from Urban Decay. That's handy. Um, basically, it's an eyebrow eyeliner pencil because it's slightly bigger than normal. And what you're going to do is you're just going to taper the end. Just like a pencil sharpener. What I've done is I've tapered it ever so slightly. So it slides into the knock without splitting the knock. That's a little too well done. But what I can do is just slice a little bit off the end. Never all worry. Shorter is always better than longer. And you can keep within the poundage of your bow. That's more like it. We'll split the knock. Splitting knocks, not a good thing. That's what I wanted. So look like that. Now these knocks are rubbish. Yeah. Ah, there's one. What you do is I like to use super glue on the end. So you just super glue your wood. need a lot. You just slide your knock on and just make sure it's straight. So it should be straight in all directions. There we go, that should do it. As you can see, it's straight. Let's glue that on. So flights, flights, these are your flights. Uh, I pick two black, one yellow. So flights that are a fairly reasonable nick. Warm them up a slightly bit. I do this with my ears when I clean my ears up. I find that if you roll them in your hands like this, not only does it warm them up, but it splits the glue. So you can then just Use your fingernail to clean it up. There you go. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit rough, it just gives something for the. What you don't want is excess wood on there. So do the same with all the others. Just get any bits of wood. Oh, there's a better one. This one's already got most of it cleared off, so we'll use that. In fact, that's pretty good. Use that one. So we've got a better one somewhere. Ah, that one's perfect. This one's fairly clean, so the glue must have stayed on the shaft. Now, there's two ways you can fix this. You can fix this with contact adhesive, uh, or fix it with super glue. I tend to use super glue because you can take a tube with you and repair them 24 hours later. Um, always handy. So, what you then do is you put super glue. We'll be going onto a porous surface. Take your super glue. And you line it up with the corners of the knock. So you've got the hole of the knock. And what you do is you, you rotate it and line it up with the corner just here and the corner just there because it's a squarish thing. So just line it up with the corners of the knock. Give it a few seconds to dry. 
dry. So as you can see, you've got the corner of the knock there, and then you just line it up with that corner, and you do the same on the other side. You ask, why do you use two of one colour and one of the other? It's to line up. It's a quick lining lining up of the arrow on your bow. Basically, if you've got the flights in the wrong place, you can't line up your arrow properly. And so what you do is you have one that's um, basically on the outside of the arrow, the other two are on the ins uh, outside of your bow, the other two are on the inside of your bow. So when you, you string up the arrow to the bow, you know exactly that it's the right way round. That's all it is. So remember, hot and humid makes the glue go off quicker. This is testament when it sticks to your fingers. It's usually because your fingers are warm and they're humid. And they've got grease in them and everything like that. Right, you've got two on. Now the the other one, the yellow one, let's see if we've got a better that, that's cleaner. It's a lot cleaner. The yellow one points to the outside. So when you line it up on the bow it points out. And that's the one that, that you need to get in the right position. Glue on. And you place it and you line up. Usually there's a little fletch that sticks out of your knock. That needs to be removed for safety reasons. Quite literally, you line it up with that so that when it lines up on the bow, that points out. I'm not a qualified checker. Well, I say qualified. I'm not an approved checker, so therefore I can't tell you how to check the, the arrow is safe. It's not my um, remit. I can show you how to make one, but I can't tell you how to actually. Be safe. Train going past. Just make sure all the glue's set. So that's what you should be left with. As you can see, it lines up with this bit here. And you've got the rest of it there. So this bit, you knock. There you go. See how it lines up. Right, this end, it's effectively done. But a good idea is to, once you've glued all that into place, to get some latex. Lots of latex, a little bit of paint, sponge, and just dab latex over it. Just so it overlaps all the joins. Uh, reason for doing that is it reinforces the joins but also it adds protective covering and then after that you need something special which I will show you. Isoflex Special Primer. You use this on any latex weaponry and basically this is a rubber coating that goes on the outside of the latex. It's clear, it produces a good coating, it stops it being sticky, well it's sticky to start with but it's also blooming nasty stuff and I mean really nasty stuff. If this gets on your fingers, it stays on your fingers. do not come off for weeks. Uh, secondly, um, it can be quite nasty to work with. It's got a few fumes in it. And uh, also, um, what was it? It goes off really, really quickly. If you don't seal the tin right, or you don't decant it into separate jars, which is always a good idea. If you buy a tin of this, it's about 20 quid. A tin will last you absolutely ages, as long as you keep a seal on it. And the best thing to do is decant it into airtight sealed jars. And so only have enough and then once you've finished with the jar, get rid of the jar. So that's the best thing. Not ordinary jars, I mean real proper airtight jars. Well that's for later, I'll show you how to do that sometime when I do sword making. But effectively, that's your arrow done. Just latex the end and let all the glues dry. It takes about 24 hours to everything go off, but that is your arrow done.